Hey, I'm Peach, Director of Social Media here at Ike Light. I just want to say thank you for all the love you show us on Instagram every day. I really enjoy seeing all your posts and interacting with your comments and DMs. I'm also the editor of the weekly newsletter, which is packed with all kinds of tips on underwater photography. If you're not already subscribed, follow the link in the description of this video to join. Instagram is one of the best platforms for developing your photography brand, and I want to share some easy tips you can take action on today. If you're a photographer trying to build exposure and expand your photography business, you want to convert to a creator account. Most of us start out on Instagram with a standard personal account, go into the settings and update to a creator account. This will open up features like insights, which allows you to compare the performance of your different posts. It gives you charts and graphs to help you visualize trends and how people are engaging with your content. It will also give you access to a feature for scheduling posts, which brings me to my next point. Start posting consistently. Most people follow hundreds of accounts, yet only a small percentage of those are shown to them when they scroll the app. The Instagram feed is like a grocery store shelf. A store stocks products in response to consumer behavior. Something with very inconsistent demand is going to be removed from the shelf. So don't dump a bunch of photos on Instagram one day and then go dark for three weeks. Choose a sustainable posting schedule and stick to it. You can post once a week, three times a week, or every day. Just make it consistent. Now that you have a creator account, Instagram gives you access to content scheduling. Treat it like meal prep for social media. Devote some time every week or two for selecting media, writing captions, and scheduling out your posts. When you get ready to post, make sure you're creating great visuals. You're used to looking at your photos blown up on your computer screen, but that's not the way your Instagram followers are gonna be consuming them. Try reformatting your photos to fit the medium. A four by five portrait photo will take up more of your audience's screen than a horizontal photo, demanding more of their attention. So try cropping your horizontal photos to this ratio. Another option for a horizontal photo is to break it up into a carousel. You show the right and left half of the image separately, followed by the complete image. This will keep viewers engaged with your posts by scrolling through to get the full visual. Our still photographers out there need to start thinking about putting your photography into motion. Go beyond just posting photos to the grid. Motion gets people's attention and the fastest growing accounts incorporate some video element into their posting schedule. Make a short reel showing a photo before and after being edited. Film yourself talking about one of your best photos and then pan the photo across the screen. Or simply combine a few photos into a reel with a trending sound. Instagram has templates where you just select photos from your library and edit the text box. The video is created for you. The more time you can get a user to spend on your post, the better, and you can drive that behavior by telling a story. A simple way to do this is by writing longer post captions. You'll see several benefits. Your image will be more memorable when attached to a good story. And when people stop to read your caption, they spend more time on your post. That gives you extra points with the algorithm and can give your next post a boost in that user's feed. Captions also affect how many people will find your post organically. Your caption can help people find your image by Instagram search. Instagram can also use it to suggest your posts as related content to users who don't already follow you. But a lot of us get ready to post a new photo and end up with writer's block. Try telling the story behind how you got the shot or interesting facts about the subject or the location. Or share some kind of advice that relates to the capture, like photo or travel tips. Think about asking your audience a question in the caption. For this photo, you could ask, would you be afraid of making this giant stride? Or here, would your dog do this? In a carousel post, you can ask, which is your favorite shot, one, two, or three? Encouraging users to make a comment on your post will help you maintain and grow your audience. As you do that, don't be afraid to get personal. There is a social aspect to social media. Make sure you respond to your followers' comments and messages. It makes sure users feel connected to you and Instagram will reward you for it. You wanna show yourself in your posts occasionally. It's a classic conundrum that photographers don't like to be in front of the camera, but statistics show users find it easier to connect with a face and a personal story. Behind the scenes content is a great way to connect with your audience. Stories are also an excellent way to make a more personal connection and help followers understand who you are. People love being asked about what they think or know. You can engage your audience through a poll, a quiz, or a question on your story. Tag and be tagged. 
Tag people, products, and places you've worked with. Clients, dive shops, equipment. This incentivizes people you've tagged to share your work. Don't forget to like and share posts from other accounts you enjoy too. Utilize tagging and hashtagging, but don't overdo it. Spam tagging won't help your content rise to the top. Lots of people talk about the algorithm as if you're cracking some code or need a secret password. There are no shortcuts to long-term success in social media. Focus on creating relatable content in a sustainable way. Be consistent, put out quality content, be relevant to your audience. This will have greater effect than any trend or hack. Make the algorithm work for you, not the other way around. I hope these tips were helpful and I'll catch you guys on Instagram.